Pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me. My name is Alex, founder and CEO of Spark, AI-driven food exchange to eliminate food waste in the supply chain and drive down climate damage. Now, 2.5 billion tons of food wasted every single year, which is insane, uh, which is 60% of the supply chain, basically. I also learned 10% of our greenhouse gas emissions are caused by food waste, uh, largest CO2 emitters, uh, if you like. Uh, so translating into 6.3 gigatons of unnecessary CO2 emissions every single year. So two massive problems. Now, why is that? Uh, because believe it or not, the supply chain is not yet digital. Yeah, there's a missing link between suppliers and demand partners to communicate in, in any digital fashion, causing food overproduction levels of 40%, massive problem, but also a huge opportunity to fix the supply chain, drive value and protect resources. Now, if you allow yourself to think about this massive problem as a potential market, 2.5 billion tons of food oversupply times one euro per kilo, as an example, gives you $2,500 billion of euros as market potential. Crazy. Yeah. And how do we do it? It's a matchmaking platform between pretty much everyone on the supply side, you know, agriculture, producers, logistics players, wholesalers, retailers, and anybody on the demand side, like canteens using food, you know, production companies, NGOs, and gastronomy. Now, obviously, this is about data. Uh, it's a huge data play, understanding, you know, what becomes available as surplus and what, you know, is required on the demand side and then match, you know, those those two in, in a sharper fashion, in an ongoing way, using AI. And if you ask yourself, how do we make money? Well, basically, it's an arbitrage model, you know, um, getting food for free. You know, this is perfect food. It's not plan B. And then sell it at market price levels minus 10, 20 percent. Also to move that food into production. Yeah, so we don't produce food, we're tech, but we orchestrate uh, production partners on the demand side, driving value from say tomato to tomato sauce or tomato ketchup, driving our value. And finally, I looked at Tesla's business model. We're in process of creating our own CO2 certificate uh, as an innovative um, additional business model. Here we see a couple of prototypes. Here's one for you. Um, so once again, we don't produce food, but you know, like we orchestrate these production companies to all IFS certified, either for B2C products or for B2B products, same recipe. Now in, in summer 2020, so two years ago, we luckily made global first place at Extreme Tech Challenge uh, Smart Cities, which gave us a huge boost in, in visibility. It's like a positive media storm in Germany, 200 clippings alone last year, uh, which helps us to onboard partners. So like we focus on SDG number 17, include folks from the supply chain like Compass Group uh, as a demand partner running 500 canteens in Germany, but also uh, Lufthansa Industry Solutions as a tech partner, helping us to build our platform in with parties, you know, from, from a systems point of view. And then also folks like GS1 Dean Fraunhofer to help us construct our CO2 certificate. Yeah, where we at today, we've rescued about a thousand tons of food. 2.5 million meals or 2,500 tons of CO2 equivalent. We're in the middle of raising our Series A, which is 13 million, targeting revenues of eight to nine million this year. And you know, longer term ambition is to really crack a global problem. Um, as you can tell, we're determined and we need your help. So thank you. Where do you see like the biggest waste currently happening? And uh, does it apply also with the biggest opportunity for you from a business point of view? Or yeah. is that a yes. whole different area? Yes. Yes, it's a it's an amazing opportunity. So most waste is driven um, by food and veggies. So perishable food, yeah, which is the largest category when it comes to food waste. So food waste is the wrong word. Yeah? Food waste is a result of another problem, which is food oversupply, which is not you know communicated to demand partners. Yeah, so like given that food, you know, food and veggies, they change over time, like in the supply chain, basically, we need to be really fast. Yeah? And this is where our technology kicks in to, you know, once that surplus becomes available and, and we get notified, we already know the demand partner and, and move, you know, food to food salad producers, for example. Yeah? So food and veggies is, is the most uh, important one to crack, which is our specialty.